a JustAZ.com production. An airlift aquarium vacuum is nothing new. I know hobbyists have been making them for at least 75 years. When I was a boy, my father showed me how to make one using my mother's Tupperware. He learned how to make one when he was a boy using old soda bottles. There are many different ways to build one using many different types of material. I recently came across plans on how to build an airlift vacuum on the internet. The plans called for 16 pieces and fittings of PVC. There were reducers, tees, elbows, two plastic soda bottles, and three different size pipes. The parts list was almost a page long. That's when I decided to see how I could make a sturdy and effective airlift vacuum out of as few pieces as possible. My criteria for this project was to use commonly found parts and to keep the cost between five and ten dollars. I built this vacuum using just five parts. A two inch PVC coupling, a two inch to a half inch bushing, you need two of these, two or three feet of half inch PVC pipe, four or five feet of airline tubing, and you will also need a filter medium, such as floss or a sponge. But before we get started, let's see how this works. To start with, we have a piece of pipe for the vacuum's nozzle. When placed in the tank, the pipe fills up with water. By introducing air into the nozzle at the bottom, we cause the water in the pipe to raise up the pipe and spill out over the top. As the air bubbles push the water up, water and debris are sucked in from the bottom and pushed out the top of the tube. Once the water and debris is pushed out of the tube, we need to contain it. To do this, we build a container at the top of the pipe. Since we are only interested in containing the debris, we need to separate the water from the debris and allow the water to flow back into the tank. To do this, we drill some holes at the bottom of the container and then we place a filter medium between the top of the pipe and the bottom of the container. That way the debris is captured in the filter media before being expelled back into the tank. This leaves us with two issues left to solve. Removing the trapped air and adding the handle. And I have one solution for both. Not only are water and debris being forced up through the pipe, but also air. We need to remove the air from the container and we need a way to use this vacuum without sticking our hands in the tank. The answer is a hollow handle. By adding a hole at the top of the container and attaching a piece of pipe, we have a handle that lets us maneuver the vacuum outside the water and also acts as an escape route for the air. Building the vacuum requires just five items, but I'm going to suggest two additional items neither of which will affect the performance, but do make the vacuum easier to use. An irrigation barb connector and zip ties. Also keep in mind the size of the parts. I'm using parts that work well in a smaller tank, about 10 to 30 gallons. If you are planning to use this in a larger tank, use longer pieces of pipe and maybe a bigger container. To start with, Cut a 6 inch piece of half inch pipe and cut a slight angle at one end. This makes it easier for the nozzle to get into corners and behind rocks. Drill a hole the size of the airline tubing. Place it about 3 quarters of an inch above the angle cut. The hole should be the same size as the tubing so it fits snugly. This is where I use one of the optional parts. Airline tubing has a way of working itself out of the hole, and silicon does not adhere to vinyl tubing very well. So I am using a connector from a drip irrigation system. 
This way I can silicone the barb into the tube and it will hold my airline in place. Next we take one of the bushings and drill some holes in the bottom. Connect the nozzle to one end of the bushing and a small piece of pipe about two and a half inches to the other. Next, we slide the two inch coupling over the top. You can cement these in place together if you want. Once the PVC cement dries, it is fish safe. Attach about a 12 to 14 inch piece to the other bushing. This will form the handle. You can cement this as well. Next we add the filter media and we attach the coupling to the top. Do not cement this as you need to open this up to change and clean the filter media. The next thing we need to do is connect the hose to the vacuum. At this time, you might want to add the second additional part, the zip tie, to secure the tubing to the vacuum. This way you don't have to worry about the airline getting caught on a piece of coral or a rock as you're moving it around the tank. All we need to do now is connect it to the air pump. And we're ready to vacuum. Allow the water to fill the container. And it's best to have the container, the water level, to be somewhat between the top quarter end of the container to have it work best. And that's all there is to it. And this air vac cost me about six dollars to build. Thanks for watching. Questions or comments, put them in the comment section below. And subscribe to our channel for more videos on the DIY lifestyle.